Okay, so we've got two di two different controls here. One's 230 volts, which is your your fire. So ultra heat heater. The top one is gas. You see that flame there? So gas ultra store store your water. So that's your heater water heater. Okay, on gas. So we'll just concentrate on the gas one for now. So to operate the water heater on gas, all you do is turn that outer ring on. You the boiler just click then. If it fails, it will go to red, but if green light, that means it's okay. So if it fails, it goes to red, there's reasons why. So if it does fail, turn it off. Check you have turned the gas on. That's one thing. Two, you have got gas, so you can just fire your cooker up, make sure you've got gas running. Okay, the other thing is cover for the boiler, make sure that's off because that will make it fail straight away, or after a few seconds. And then the other thing is, it may, may have air in the system, okay? So if you have changed your gas bottle recently, you might get a bit of air in the system. That will obviously gets to the boiler. If it hasn't ignited after so many seconds, then it will shut itself down, because it, it hasn't fired up. Okay, so to, what you do is turn it back on again. So roughly 30 seconds to a minute, give it time to reset, then re-attempt to light it. If it fails again, turn it off again. It may take two or three attempts if you haven't used it on gas for a while. Okay, obviously as long as it stays on green, that's okay. Thermostat in the centre, so you've got the same temperature, maximum 70 degrees. The electric, it's just that. You haven't got a, any alteration of that, that thermostat. Well, if you're just running on gas alone, you can thermostat the control down to say 30 degrees if you wanted to. Okay. Mm -hmm. The one below, so that's your water heating. The one on the bottom, ultra heat, is your heater. Okay, so remember we've got the switch on the consumer unit, the orange one next to the water heater, space heater it is. If that's not switched on, you won't see that green light there, so that's just saying, okay, the energy's there, ready to use. So you've got options of 2,000 watts, or 2 kilowatts, 1 kilowatt, or half a kilowatt. Okay, so it's just, if you imagine like a free bar fire, which is heating the element behind there. Okay, thermostat control is in the centre, so whatever's closest to the green light, so if one's closest to the green light, that's obviously the cold, colder setting. I'm seeing nine being the hotter setting. Okay, so that's heating an element up in your fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, you can operate on gas alone as well. So this control here. So the narrow pointer is the the pointer. If I turn that, either clicking. Yeah. So that's the igniter ready to ignite. If I press the button down, that releases the gra gas. If it stays continuous um, ticking, and she hasn't lit yet. I didn't quite. Ticking, we've got the flame. It's gone off now. Oh no, it's going again. I see it's gone now. So obviously it needs to keep keeps ticking, obviously it needs to it's still going again. No. Might be even going clicky clicky out there. So the the narrow point is obviously the pointer. Obviously ten being the hottest. And you Bring it around to switch it off, make sure that narrow point is just gone past past a zero, that will shut, shut the igniter off. If you leave it just past it, you'll just hear that click, 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 yeah. click. And you, it'll, it will go, yeah, it'll drive you nuts. Or if you've left it like that, there's a battery that, that operates the igniter, which is sitting under there, which doesn't come off at 12 volts from your laser battery. So if you go and leave that running, click, 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 it's going to drain that battery and then you won't be able to off, you won't be able to light it until mm. someone changes the battery. Okay, this side of it is your fan. So the fan will run with the gas side of the heater, or it will run for the electric side of the heater, or it will actually run on its own. Okay, so it's just an independent uh, fan. So to the left, so you've got manual fan, you just turn that to whatever speed you want. You've got your vents, which sit around your van, one in your bathroom, one on the side. Oh, thanks, Stewie. So that will operate the fan, which will obviously blow the heat around, obviously, as long as you've got the heater running. Or you've got, got the auto side. Okay, so auto side is thermostatically controlled. So you set where you want the the speed of your fan, then it will go up and down with the heat. Okay. Is that it, Pete? Is no. that yeah? Yeah, well the alarm alarm doesn't want to work on it. <laughs> yeah, I I'd bark at him as well. He's very particular. <laughs> oh, she feel, feels at home already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd bark at him as well. <laughs>